What's up Fairless RN fam? I know it's been a while, but today I'm coming to you with some sample questions, conversion questions that you can ace your med math or dosage calculation questions, and even on NCLEX so that you don't have to struggle with it. If you know me, I didn't really like math, but when you break it down and you really pay attention, it's really not that difficult. In this video, I'll give you five examples, so use those to help you when you click down below in the description box where I have some sample questions, about 40 questions for you to practice on, and that will help you too. For additional information, check out my blog as well, and the sample questions you can download for free and print them out right away and practice. All right, so let's go into these sample questions. Eight ounces equals how many teaspoons? So here you're gonna need to know the conversions, which is very important to know the metric table. So please refer back to the metric table and this will help you answer this problem. 30 mLs equals one ounce. And we also know that one tablespoon equals five milliliters. So this portion right here is from the metric table. Now we're gonna solve the problem. So what I like to do is put these two like this. So it's going to be eight ounces over X tablespoons. We're going to put the conversion because we're trying to get to tablespoons. So I'm going to put 30 mLs over one ounce. So then this is crossed out, and we're gonna put the other conversion, which is one tablespoon equals five milliliters. And now we're able to cancel out because the goal is we want tablespoons so we're just gonna cancel this cancel this and multiply straight across so 8 times 30 times 1 equals 240 and 1 times 5 is 5 you're going to divide that and you'll be getting 48 teaspoons so eight ounces equals 48 teaspoons. So this next problem is two grams equals how many milligrams? So using the metric table, we know that one gram equals a thousand milligrams. So we're gonna set up our problem. Two gram over X milligram times 1,000 milligram over X gram. And then we want to get to milligram, so we're gonna cross out this and multiply straight across. So two times 1,000 equals 2,000 over nothing, and that is the answer right here. A trick to do this problem is to know that when you're going from a larger unit to a smaller unit, larger unit to smaller unit, move decimal point to the right. So let's see. So if you have two grams. So it'll be here, one, two, three, equals one, two, three, two thousand milligrams. That is a trick. We're going from a larger unit to a smaller unit. Move the decimal point to the right. 1,500 milliliters equals how many liters? So now you have to go back to your metric table and you'll find that one liter equals 1,000 milliliters. Let's set up our problem. So we're gonna put 15 milliliters over X liters. And we're gonna put the conversion on top right here. 
over 1,000 milliliters. So since we know that we're looking for liters, we're gonna cross out the mLs, and now we're going to multiply straight across. So we get 1,500 over 1,000, and it equals 1.5 liters. Because when you divide, you're left with that, and you get 1.5 liters. So 1,500 milliliters equals 1.5 liters. So now you see why it's so important to know your metric table because it makes it much more easier and more faster to solve these problems. Okay, now the next problem is 60 teaspoons equals how many tablespoons? So going back to the metric table, we know that three teaspoons equals one tablespoon. Now let's set up our problem. The goal is to get to tablespoons, right? So I'm gonna cancel out the tea teaspoon. And now we're going to multiply straight across. So 60 times one is 60. And three, you divide that, and you'll be getting 20 tablespoons. So 60 teaspoons equals 20 tablespoons. 2,400 milligrams equals how many grams? So we know that 1,000 milligrams equals one gram. So let's write down the conversion. And now let's set up our problem. So 2,400 milligram over X gram. And I'm gonna put the conversion here. One gram over 1,000 milligram. The goal is to get to grams, so we're gonna cross out milligram, multiply straight across, you get 24 over 1,000, and you'll be getting 2.4 gram, because these two cancel out. When you divide, these two cancel out, and you're left with 2.4 gram. So let's look at it. So if you have 24, right? And you're moving from the left, so you're gonna be one, two, and three. So that will equate to 2.4. See that? That's the trick that you can do if you don't really wanna do the math. But I always suggest to do the math problems. If you know that you know the conversion, it makes it so much easier that you don't even have to do the problem. All you'd have to do is go like this. One, two, three. Guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope that you found it helpful. If you found it helpful, please show me some support by giving this video a thumbs up and share it to a friend or two. I would greatly appreciate it. And also let me know down in the comments. I'd love to hear feedback from you guys that keeps me motivated to get into filming. Sometimes it's very difficult for me and I'd love to hear from you guys. Also, if you want more updates on me, be sure to follow me on Instagram and on Snapchat because there is where I mostly am active. Snapchat and yeah I'll see you guys in the next video subscribe if you haven't already and share this video bye guys see you later peace